Hey, how's it going? Happy Friday. Uh, just another day at the Kobu camp. I'm almost done with this thing. I've only got like, um, let's see, we end in April. So this is like this catch up week right here is just, you know, if you want to stick around, do extra stuff in the class, you can do it. But we're done uh, in pretty much two more weeks. I'm pretty excited. I think this was an awesome experience. Like we're really winding down. I feel like I've learned a lot. Uh, we just had a speaker come in, he kind of talked about another framework. You guys saw that I've been using Laravel for this uh, application that I made here. It's been awesome. I just figured out how I, like, this was just supposed to be a thing that was going to show workouts and allow you to add workouts and stuff. And it's gone from that to now people can log in, create, you basically create an account, and then you can add workouts and you can also see workouts that other people have added and we can track and see who's doing the most of a certain type of workout, which is kind of a way for people to uh, get an idea of like how they want to make a workout plan. And it all just kind of came together really quickly. And I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I didn't have to worry about the front end of things. I just, you know, started putting things together and uh, Laravel made it really easy to get the app there. I worked a lot on the model and the back end side of things and um, using foreign keys. I'm using a foreign key to uh, basically, I have a user table and then I have a workouts table and the thing that I'm using in between those is what's called user workouts and so each user has their own special workout ID for the things that they do. Um, but yeah, so like this is just night and day compared to uh, where I came from. You know, I knew a little bit about web development and um, I just think it's, it's awesome to look at this and be like, wow, I've actually learned something. and things that I was afraid of before are now really easy. So I can't believe that it's almost, almost, uh, almost over. And I have to go get a real job <laughs> or do stuff for people for free until someone decides that I'm good enough to pay them, pay me. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, freelancing is not, not fun. It's not, it's not fun, but you know, I'm learning and having fun. So another thing I've been working on, the, the video that I made yesterday ended on a note saying, I just, I really want to do more stuff in Blender. I think that this is such a fun program. It's so cool. Um, I, I'm following a tutorial from Blender Guru, but his tutorials are nice because you he just kind of teaches you the base concept of how to do something, and then it's up to you to really go take it to the next level and do what you want with it. So I'm making a a neon sign for Champion Fitness, a nice logo that we'll be able to put on our website and uh, show people that uh, we care about design, I guess. And uh, the thing that I'm working on is making these little neon letters. As you can see, it took me a lot of time. I'll, I'll, I can't control Z back, but what I've been doing, the thing that I learned from the Blender Guru is, the Blender Guru, <laughs> is that um, there's this text tool in here. Um, if I go to object mode and I select this thing here, and uh, here we go, text object. So it's a text object, and um, I don't know if it's in the texture space or where it is. You can see my level of prowess with uh, um, Blender. I don't know if this, nope, I don't want to do that. <sighs> Yeah, I think once you actually make the text, maybe if you go into edit mode, no, doesn't really. No, that doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I I actually don't even know. Uh, if you make a new, if I added a new thing in here, like if I did Shift A, nope, I got to be in object mode, tab, tab. Shift A. Oh God. Shift A. Shift A. <laughs> if I add text in here, you have all these options for how you want to do the font. So if you click in here, you can go into your folder directory, and if you have like a TIFF or something like that, you can um, you can just add your own your own uh, text file in here. So I, I added a text file in here called uh, Woo. I don't like that bending thing. <laughs> I want to fix that. You saw the S. I added a text file in here and uh, I'm working with this. I'm going to add some glow to it and make a nice background, a nice material background with some brick and uh, really make it look like an awesome 
uh, logo and use it for some advertisement. So that's what I've been up to. And uh, last night we had Pi Night here at the clubhouse, which was kind of fun. You can see I'm trying to install Django, yet another framework. And um, Pi Night, we kind of talked about, uh, we talked about uh, data, exploratory data analysis. So things like Pandas, and of course, not be in scikit-learn. If you aren't familiar with those things, they're wonderful tools for visualizing data. You could do cool things like turn uh, different categories into ones and zeros. Say you're like a realtor and you're trying to create an artificial network for figuring out the best uh, price for certain properties. Uh, maybe you could like categorize by area. Like this area has got a high price, this area's got a low price. You could do something like TensorFlow. You could do something like Pandas to clean up your data turn those categories into ones and zeros, and then use an uh, AI uh, training tool like TensorFlow or something to run, a, run an, uh, a session on it and then get a model out of it, and then constantly use that to valid, like you know, check prices or let people look at prices for what they think their property is worth. I don't know. It could be, uh, it could be very interesting. It, it, it is interesting. Like Even this little guy right here, this like cell phone, it's got a model on it. And the more that, if you don't know this, maybe you'll start using it more, but Things like, I'm not going to say her name, but C-O-R-T-A-N-A -A on my Windows machine, uh, Cortana. Is it going to pop up? Nope, it didn't. Okay, cool. Uh, if you use it more and more often, the model gets better. There's a model saved. Just like on your iPhone, if you say her name, S-I-R-I, -I, <laughs> she'll start to understand your commands better. The same for Alexa. They have models. So as you do that, you're sending information back to Apple, to Amazon, to Microsoft, and they're using that to update that model. So some people don't want to do that. They don't like sending information back. I got nothing to hide. So, um, you know, I'm happy to help train that model. But while we were there and we were talking about Pandas and all this stuff, I was like, dang, I love Python. And I haven't been writing too much Python. So I got into it and... Of course, I went with some computer vision. I made this thing called backgrounds. I used this demo from background subtraction for OpenCV in an object tracking algorithm. And, oh, I know why it's not gonna work. Um, uh, okay, if I go in here and then I do, I and backspace one. Maybe now. Look at that. I'm doing background subtraction object. Look at it gets if my hand gets in that little box, it follows it around. Woo! Cool. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was cool because uh, you know, like now my camera can do like sick gothic art. <laughs> Look at that awesome artwork that I'm doing. It, like, if you took this and you framed it and you put it up on your house, like, that'd be some hipster art that you could sell, for sure. Turn. Ooh, look at that whiteboard. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was messing around with this stuff uh, yesterday. It's fun. It's really easy to get. I didn't do, like, the full GPU installation of uh, OpenCV because I'm not a psycho. <laughs> I don't have to. Oh gosh, and it's just running. It's just running. <laughs> this is what happens when you write. Okay, there we go. Finally, if I hit escape. When you write some like demo code, you don't really work on it too much. <sighs> but yeah, that was fun. Um, getting back into Open. I love OpenCV. Oh my god, it's so easy to work with. But you know, there's so many tools now that people use in computer vision. It's overwhelming to tie to all your shit. Um, I don't know. There's just a lot of tools, but I like OpenCV. It's easy to work with, and I have a lot of experience with it, so it's a fun thing to do. You can make quick little demos with it. I would like to get to the point where I actually use it in a real application, so that's my goal. Um, but yeah, really been... Gosh, Blender's so cool. If you haven't gotten into it, they have a new version of this. You know. Yeah, so living in Python world, I guess. I don't know if any guys know this, but Blender is completely written in Python. Um, you can, like, if I just, uh, let's see, if I just tab, tab, let's see what, what happens. Okay. If I do R, that wrote, 
this is like coming from some script that's manipulating the object. Uh, so it's all written in Python. It's worthwhile to get into it because then you can make your own material nodes, do cool stuff with random numbers. That's like my favorite thing is doing animations with random numbers confined in a boundary. So like a random number between zero and one and have an object oscillate back and forth with that random parameter. You can make very cool um, cool patterns with that, right? Because like how many patterns do you want? Put a, just hit enter, generate a pattern, hit enter, generate a pattern. And you can make these uh, random patterns with tiles or whatever you want. So it allows you to do animation uh, very well. And also, a thing that people don't really think about, but also random numbers are great when you're trying to create noise for like a material. You can generate random noise. You can apply a filter to a node. You can have like a node that filters an image and gives it some random noise. That's also kind of one of my fun things that I like to do. But um, yeah, other than that, just keep myself busy with a lot of programming. Nothing going on this weekend. I'm really just trying to take it easy. I got a big thing, huge thing coming up. And uh, I'm just preparing for that. So, you know, just living life and uh, enjoying being nerdy and uh, messing around with Blender and Python. Look at me now. I'm going to get into Django, start messing around with Python every day, right? Uh, it's cool. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing. I'm probably going to be working on this uh, later tonight. Today, I want to really finish that Laravel app and uh, make it look really nice, and then uh, just deploy it to Google App Engine a lot. I want to get like a custom domain for it so that people can use it. Um, but yeah, that's that's my goal this weekend. I want to have that done, and uh, I will. I will. I've been making good progress, on it, so I'm pretty excited. Other than that, though, I really hope that you guys enjoy your weekend. And thank you for watching my videos, the <laughs> the eight people who watched them. So thank you, and uh, hope you have a great weekend.